Wow. 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 Amazing. What is up, Internet? Retro here, and welcome back to episode 25 of the $10 Game Collection Challenge. We are on a quest to build a video game collection, starting off with just 10 bucks to prove that you can indeed still game hunt in today's time, and you can do it on a budget. It is hard to believe that we are 25 episodes deep into this series. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me every single week and sticking it out through this whole series. It has been a blast to game hunt with you all. Um, but we're about to get into it. But if you are new to the channel and you love all things 80s and 90s nostalgia from retro video games, movies, toys, and more, please do me a favor and hit that freaking subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss out on new weekly videos because every single week we are pumping out that new retro nostalgia content and I don't want you guys to miss it. Let's get into this week's footage. All right guys, quick update of the $10 game collection. It is getting quite out of hand. Last week we picked up all of this stuff from Goodwill and then uh, we still have all the GameCube stuff that I have not put up yet. But um, we did not sell anything since last episode. So we have $276 in the game fund and I need, I need to list those less than zero DVDs and press your luck, that's like a $20 game. And then also I need to read list the Al Pacino DVD set and get a clue. And what, what else was there? Oh yeah, these these uh, remotes, the Sony remotes I need to sell and then I need to clean. I need to clean this because it is, it is nasty, but I need to sell that. And we're starting to double up on some Wii games, PS2 games and GameCube games. So we'll get all that stuff listed. Hopefully make, uh, I'd like to be at 350 to 400 in the game fund, so. But that is the update guys, $276 to go game hunt, so let's do it. All right, stumbled into some games at uh, this particular Goodwill. A bunch of Wii shovelware, Sega Bass Fishing. I've already checked all these, they're all in, they're all in there. Uh, cruise ship vacation games. Like what, why did they, why did they make that? And then uh, Sesame Street County Carnival. Kung Fu Panda Legendary Warriors. We just actually picked up this uh, recently. These are all these are all two dollars because they're not marked. Um, deal or no deal. Uh, let's see, Deca Sports, and then Crazy Golf. The only game that is probably worth picking up is GTA V. I always pick this up just because it's an easy flip and uh, it's a good bundler if you're ever selling consoles. Guys, I just can't get myself to care about these shovelware Wii games. Like these are all two bucks each. I am gonna pass. I just don't, I just don't care. You guys tell me in the comments, would you guys pick those up for $2 each or would you leave them? I'm just gonna get GTA 5 because I don't care about crazy golf. I'm sorry. Good All right, guys, at Goodwill right now, and I found a couple games, nothing, nothing crazy, uh, but some decent stuff. Resident Evil 4. reason why I say nothing crazy is because I wish these were two but for four I'm not gonna complain this is complete probably not worth much more than six or seven bucks but um, that's fine Lord of the Ru Lord of the Rings Return of the King we have not picked this one up yet so we'll get both of those uh, I'm gonna pass on all this stuff I always check to see Again, there's not a different sports game. A bunch of NBA 2K12s, and then, uh, let's see this, Ghostbusters, the video game. Definitely gonna get this. I don't know much about it, um, but 
four bucks is pretty good on that. Um, Elder Scrolls, Skyrim, Infamous. And then we just picked up one of these recently, but we did not pick up this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this and then pass on everything else. So we're looking at 16 for those and still, still looking around. I will update you guys if I find anything else in all this stuff. All right guys, here is a tip. So I am still about to pick up those and was going through the DVDs and I found Star Wars, Clone Wars Volume 1, the animated series. Or something, I don't know, I've never watched it before, but um, it sells pretty decently, like 10 to 15, and I, and I saw that there's actually two volumes. So when I saw that, when I looked up this on eBay, I was like, maybe, maybe the other one is in here, and lo and behold, it is. So Star Wars, Clone Wars, Volume 2. So both of these together on eBay sell for like 25 to 40. Um, so just a tip, anytime I see that kind of stuff, I, I try to you know make sure I am not missing the other the other one to the set or the series because um, a lot of times they'll be donated together. If somebody had volume two, more than likely they had volume one as well. So we'll make we'll actually make money on top of getting these games today. So awesome to find those. All right, guys. Here is a PS2 Slim. You're at 25. 92. Looks like there's two controllers and pretty decent shape. I'm about to see if they can uh, get it out for me so I can take a look at it. Here's a couple games too, but I don't see anything worth picking up in here if they're five each. So, can I see this PlayStation down here? Uh, it's the actual system. There's actually some games over here too. Um, these two right here. I guess all three of them. Oh, yeah, all three of those. y'all pretty sweet to find a ps2 slim with all the hookups uh controllers memory cards there's two first party memory cards at goodwill uh 25.92 you guys might think that might be a little high for this but right now a ps2 slim with a controller and hookups is like 75 dollars. so i would say conservatively we're looking at about 90 dollars for all this stuff we have a two-week window also in case it doesn't work, we can bring it back and get in-store credit. And we picked up uh, three games as well. Now, I don't know if I would normally have picked up these games for $4.99, but since they were there with the PS2, I was like, I might as well, and we don't have these. So Final Fantasy X Greatest Hits. We just picked up Final, Fan Final Fantasy XII recently, so cool to pick that up. Star Wars Battlefront II. This is the black label, and it is complete. This is probably like a $10, 8 to $10 game. So again, we're not we're not you know getting any crazy deals on these, but still cool to pick up. RPG Maker 2. Now I played the original RPG Maker, but I've never played this one. Were you guys an RPG Maker fan back in the day, or are you still now? So three games and the uh, PS2 Slim, forty dollars all in. 
trying to figure out what to do now. Should I keep that or should I keep the fat system, the PS2 fat? I'll probably keep that just because of space. Um, you guys know that we are running out of space in the $10 game collection shelving area. So I think it's, I think it'll be smarter just to keep that and then sell the PS2 fat, but cool pickup. Guys, again, 2020 picking up PlayStation 2 stuff, consoles, hardware at the Goodwill. It is a good day. On to the next. All right, guys, two things. The first is Rampage on GameCube. Total destruction, but dang it, man, that sucks. We actually found this game at Goodwill, gosh, months ago, but it had Mario Party in it. So we still have never found Rampage. We have found two cases, but uh, no game. Okay, so people ask me all the time about finding DVDs. How do I find DVDs that are worth money? Do I look up every single one? No, so I've done this for so long that I know whenever I see a movie that is pretty uncommon. So like for instance, this, not uncommon at all. I see that all the time, um, but I don't see this. I haven't, I've never seen this one before. And then there was another one, this one. I've never seen this one before. Um, so that's what I do. I'll go through all these DVDs and I'll just start picking out ones I've never seen. And then I'll look up those specific ones. But I did look up this one and um, it's selling for like 16 or so. So I wanna pick up this one for two bucks, but that's how I do it. I mean, I've done this for so long now that I've seen over and over and over again, I've seen, you know, just married. I know that that's not with anything. So that's how I do it. It definitely takes time. You have to educate yourself, but um, you do it long enough, you'll, you'll get the hang of it. So let's pick up this. Still at Goodwill, about to pick up that DVD. Here is Game of Thrones, a telltale game series. I wasn't scared. These are hard times. And the only way to solve our problems is with iron and steel. I don't know what this is. You guys tell me. It says it uh, includes the first episode. What is this, guys? I'm gonna pick it up just because it's two bucks, but uh, I have no idea. Y'all tell me. All right, guys, I'm interrupting game hunting to let you know about two different giveaways that we're gonna have this month in September. So it's been a bit since we've given anything away and I thought since we just picked up that PS2 Slim, let's give away the original PlayStation 2 that we got a couple weeks back. So we're gonna give away this PS2 with all the hookups and a controller and then I'm gonna throw in a couple games as well. Uh, Ratchet and Clank Up Your Arsenal, which is an amazing game and then Star Wars to uh, Battlefront. So uh, all you have to do to be entered into this giveaway is to like this video and to comment below to the question of the video, which is this, what console did you get as a kid that you lost your mind? Maybe it was uh, for Christmas or for your birthday, you weren't expecting it, and then there it was. I mean, I'm talking you lost your mind, kind of like the N64 kid. We have all seen that video on YouTube. <laughs> For me, it was the N64. I've told you before, I was always like a console behind, and then there it was at Christmas. I did not expect it with Wave Race and Mario uh, Mario 64. I was so pumped to get it. So you guys let me know down in the comments the console that you got fired up about. Uh, giveaway number two, some of you may know that I have a Patreon for only three bucks a month with a bunch of different benefits, one of which being uh, a giveaway every single month. Well, this month we are going big and I'm giving away a Super Nintendo, but not just a Super Nintendo. I'm giving away one in the box. This is for my own personal collection and I'm so excited for somebody to win this, uh, to be able to add it to their collection. So uh, I will link it down in the description below if you're interested in that one. And then again, the PS2 giveaway is just liking the video and commenting below. I will uh, draw at random at the beginning of October. Good luck to everybody. Let's get back into it. All right, here's an example of me being here this morning and coming back this afternoon and them putting out all these games. These were not here this morning. Um, so first off, this. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas Special Edition on the PS2. I have never seen this before. Uh, I'm definitely gonna pick this up. Here is God of War, great game. We already have this, so I'm gonna leave that one. Uh, we have not picked up Return of the King yet. Uh, I'm gonna pass on the Medal of Honor game. Sorry, bad camera work. The Godfather, maybe I'm gonna hold on to for now. I've never seen that one. Uh, Call of Duty, I'm gonna pass on. Gun. I'm 
gotta check all these still, but Vice City, I Toy, Operation Spot. That one's sealed, so probably gonna get that one. Red Dead Revolver. <laughs> so many games. Smackdown, Shut Your Mouth. GTA 3, another Medal of Honor. Budokai 2. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at this stack. Uh, Vice City Stories. Liberty City Stories. And that is it for those. So, huge stack. I'm gonna go through all these, make sure they're all in there, but guys, I'm telling you, you have to continue to go to Goodwill to get games. Insane. Okay guys, this is a mega haul. <laughs> Goodwill. Look at all these over here. Smackdown. Crash 2, uh, Tekken 3, Driver 2, Siphon Filter, oh my gosh, I freaking love that game, Crash Bandicoot Warp, and then here's two more, Wrath of Cortex, uh, Scooby-Doo, Night of 100 Frights, wow, 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 amazing. All right, guys, let's get into this amazing haul that all came from Goodwill. I'm telling you, I can go to 10 to 15 Goodwills and I'll find one, maybe two games. Never uh, a complete collection like this. This was obviously someone's complete collection that, that they just donated. Um, so we're going to go through everything. As always, I'm going to tell you value versus what we paid. There are some games in here that I was pleasantly surprised had, had some value. So... I'm excited to, to show you those. And then this is the PlayStation 2 Slim uh, that we got earlier at a different Goodwill. So two controllers, um, the memory cards, and then those three games. Conservatively, we're looking at about 105 to 110 in value, and we paid 41 for that. So um, that is going to be separate from all of this, though. This is going to be the main thing that we're going to focus on. I'm hanging out watching uh, Rookie of the Year. One of my favorite baseball movies of the 90s. Y'all tell me down in the comments your favorite 90s baseball movie. There's The Sandlot, Rookie of the Year, Angels in the Outfield, a bunch of good ones. Okay, let's get into it. So we will start over here. We paid four each for all of the PS2 games. They all have their stickers still. And then all the PlayStation 1 games uh, were unmarked. So they were two each, 68 total for all of this. And then we'll jump straight in. I'm using price chart or pricecharting.com to get uh, the price for all of these. So Tekken 3, uh, I have these all listed over here. Tekken 3 is $16. And obviously you can tell it's complete because it has this manual out here already. So this was 13 or is worth 13. Next up we have SmackDown. This is a $10 game. $10 for SmackDown. A lot of the wrestling games this year have have went up. They've skyrocketed. I know a lot of games have, but specifically wrestling games have been doing really well. Um, uh, N64 wrestling games are doing really well. Kind of kind of crazy to even say that. So Crash 2, PlayStation 1, Greatest Hits is $13. And then Crash Bandicoot Warped is also $13. So that's just, the, that's, uh, just PS1. And then let's move over to these. So uh, God of War, these are all complete as well. Greatest Hits, God of War is $9. This is where it all started. Amazing Series, Scooby-Doo, Night of 100 Frights. This one is worth 15. I did not think that this one had very much value at all, but uh, 15 bucks for this one. And I don't even think I have this in my own personal collection. Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Z Sagas, and this is, this actually looks pretty interesting. I've never played this. Uh, this is worth 13. Now we have Gun. Uh, this one is $10. I've never played this one either. Again, guys, as always, tell me down in the comments if I need to check out any of these games before I either add them to collection or, or sell them. Uh, here is GTA Vice City. Man, this game, <laughs> this game was a, a game changer for me back in the day. I remember when my buddy Mike got this game. 
uh, for Christmas and we could not stop playing it for like a week straight. Just completely open world, do whatever you want, whenever you want. Uh, not much value here though, six bucks for GTA Vice City. Moving over, Crash Bandicoot, The Wrath of Cortex. How much is this? This one is $13. We've got a couple Crash games, which is which is cool. So Grand Theft Auto San Andreas Special Edition. I've never seen this before, and it has a little bit of value. It looks like it's fluctuating anywhere from like 30 to 35, sometimes a little bit more than that, and this is in really good shape. They're actually all in really, really good shape. I don't know if this person just like got these as gifts and never really played them, but um, they took really good care of them regardless. So this is 30 to 35. Lord of the uh, Lord of the Rings: Return of the King. I think we have all of the PS2 Lord of the Ring games now. Um, this one is this one is nine dollars. Nine dollars for Lord of the Rings: Return of the King. Dragon Ball Z: Budokai 2. I think we picked up. We picked up one a couple weeks ago. This one is worth 12. Okay, this is the one that I had no idea had value. I never played this one. I always played just Vice City. Y'all tell me what this one is all about. This come out, I'm assuming it came out later, but this is selling anywhere from 50 to $70 if it's complete. And this one is complete and it has uh, all of the inserts in it. So it has like this poster and then there's this thing as well and this is selling for 50 to 70. i saw one recently sell for just over 70 so basically covering everything that we bought with just this game which is crazy so uh yeah gta vice city stories i feel like i've seen this before at, thr at thrift stores and just passed on it and now i'm mad at myself that i did that so awesome to pick that up for four bucks here is gta liberty city stories this one does not have near the value as that one. This one is 13 bucks. Um, still a great deal to pick that up. Red Dead Revolver. This is one I did play quite a bit um, growing up as a kid and really liked it. Four bucks. And this one is $12. Another wrestling game, SmackDown. Shut your mouth. This one is 15 And then GTA 3. This one is... Seven dollars, and then the last one that I should not have picked up, I just picked it up because it was sealed. Uh, <laughs> I Toy Operation Spy. Uh, this is worth five dollars, so I, I should not have gotten that one, but who cares? Whatever. Uh, so grand total is two hundred and seventy-six dollars for uh, this lot of games that we got uh, at that last Goodwill, and we paid sixty-eight, which is incredible, guys. I'm telling you right place at the right time uh and not only not only right place at the right time but like <laughs> i can't believe that i was the first to any of this there's no way that this had been out longer than like 10 minutes because it would have been gone instantly but amazing let's go to the end recap well that just doubled maybe tripled our playstation 2 collection with that ps2 haul so many great games guys all those Crash games, uh, the GTA games, and a bunch more. I think all in, we spent $135, and we have like $495 to $500 in value this week. I was just pumped to find that stuff. I'm telling you guys, I'm not exaggerating. I can't remember the last time I got that many games at one time at a Goodwill. I was so pumped. Guys, as always, thank you for hanging out, for watching the video. If you would like the video, and then also comment below uh, that console that you got that you freaked out about as a kid. Don't forget to subscribe, and until next time, peace.